Hey, so here's five secrets to eating healthy that you need to know if you're trying to lose weight, maintain weight loss, whatever it is that you're trying to do with your weight. These are five ways to make sure that you eat healthy as fuck. So the first secret is that there is no real easy way to get yourself motivated to eat healthy. It, it either is you do it or you don't. Like, there's no in between with it. Um, you'll see people on the internet all day long who claim to be experts. They claim to know what they're doing, but they can't stay consistent to save their life. Like if they had a gun to their head and they were told you need to eat healthy for the next five years, they would be fumbling the ball by like week five. So if you see that on the internet, be super cautious about what type of advice you take from them. Because if they are making like quote relatable videos on different topics um sometimes it's just a joke sometimes they're just trying to be funny or um reach their ideal audience i guess and then other times they're being dead fucking serious on what it is they are actually doing um and just be cautious of that because there's so many people on the internet especially in today's world more so than when i lost weight between 2007 and 2008 and there's a lot of misinformation that comes with that. There's a lot of people that think they know what they're doing and that they can reasonably help somebody change their life. Just the reality of it is, is that however long they've kept the weight off, that is how long they can help you for. So if it's been two months, then two months is all they can promise you. So just be highly cautious of that and keep that in the back of your head that there's no there's no like gray area with it um if you're going to change your lifestyle you're just you're you're going to do it you're going to invest in the right strategy and the right person and the right program to help you do that um and if you half ass it you're going to get half assed results that's how it works um ask anybody who's been in the industry for t over 10 years and they like myself and they will tell you the same thing a lot of the newer ones will have a different way of thinking with it because they just don't have the street cred. They don't have the experience. They don't have the expertise. So just be highly cautious of that. The second thing is that you need to know if you like to cook because that is a huge factor as to why people don't stay consistent. So if you know that about yourself, if you hate cooking, like I hate cooking, I do very minimal prep work, cook work, everything. Some people love it. Some people use it as a stress relief, even if they have a demanding career, even if they have a demanding business or businesses, uh, they will not, they don't want to come home and have to cook an elaborate, healthy meal. A uh, Pinterest worthy meal is how I like to put it. So you have to know that about yourself. If you don't, then you need to go do a little, you, you, need, you need to figure that out within a week or two if you like cooking or not, because that is going to determine how you move forward. Are you going to be cooking your meals for yourself? Or are you going to um, invest in somebody else or a meal kit service to do that for you? So that is the second secret hack tip, whatever you want to term it as. Um, the third one is that once you know that, then you need to have a plan in place that works for you and it works for your life. So even if you like cooking, okay, and you don't have a lot of time, a lot of free time available, maybe you do, maybe you don't, you need to figure out, okay, am I going to get a private chef? Am I going to do a meal kit service like HelloFresh? What is it am I going to do? And you need to write this down and you need to have it somewhere where you can see it and implement it. Some people are all about their phones. Some people have major ADHD and they will go on their phone and it'll just be like this void and they it's horrible for them to have everything on their phone because that's just the type of person they are um so you have to know that about yourself are you actually going to be organized with pen and paper or are you going to be organized with your fucking phone so you need to know that about yourself and again if you don't know that about yourself then you need to do trial and error with it for a week and figure the fuck out the fourth secret tip hack whatever you want to phrase it as, is that you need to be able to set yourself up for success. So what do I mean by that? Like, 
don't do something that you know going into it you're not going to be able to stick with if you know you hate cooking do not try to force yourself to like it okay because what's going to end up happening you're going to come home or you're going to be done working for the day or whatever it is that you do and you're going to be trying to cook for an hour you're going to get frustrated you're going to get heated you're going to throw it out on the garbage and you're going to order unhealthy takeout so not everything that you can order from takeout is entirely unhealthy no but usually when my clients come to me and they're in this very vulnerable state. Um, they're in this very highly vulnerable state. They will not make smart choices if they get frustrated or anything like that, upset, disappointed. They will immediately go to their trigger foods on an app like DoorDash or something like that. Um, Uber Eats, they'll physically go to the, the Taco Bell or whatever it is. So that's why we're trying to avoid that from happening. Um, so if you already know you hate cooking or you know that if you are in a kitchen and you're immediately going to go for the unhealthy shit, then you need something else to structure it or else you are going to constantly have that trigger and you are not going to be successful and you're setting yourself up to fail and we don't want that to happen. So my final tip, secret hack, however you phrase it for eating healthy is that you have to keep the long-term game in mind. It's not a diet. You're not here to diet. You're not here to um, try to do a 21 day fit. We're not doing 75 day hard. Okay. We're, we're here for a whole life. Okay. I'm on year 15. I have some of my earliest clients on multiple years of success. Um, this is not some little cute 21 day fits or cute 75 day hard. You're, you got to get in the long-term marathon mindset um, because if you don't, then you're going to keep crashing and burning like you, you have with fad diets, fad programs, things that are just here for a little blip of time and then they're out of the social media verse and everything. Um, you'll, you, I have seen the post of 75 Day Hard, okay? And I'm just over here smiling at myself because it was the same shit with 21 Day Fits, y'all. And that was uh, eight years ago. So yeah, as quickly as they come into the space, they just as quickly exit because they're not sustainable. They're not, um, they're about this short term fits. And if you struggled with this problem for a very, very long time, you cannot lose all of that weight in 21 days it's not physically or anatomically possible. Um, even if you were to go get weight loss surgery, it doesn't just melt off like that. Um, so a lot of people get very, they get have very high expectations when they see those fad programs. And then when they don't get that result, they dip very, very back down low into the state of depression and vulnerability. And then they just don't continue at all or they don't try to seek out another solution for another six to 12 months um and that cycle usually repeats itself I, i've seen this for years um and so many different people male female any type of job any type of industry um so it's a very common problem so i don't want you to beat yourself up over it but you need to be smart about it and you need to move forward from it in a logical manner if this is you and if you have struggled with your weight loss and eating healthier for any number of months or years and you are sick of the industry bullshit then i highly suggest you check out my caption uh, in the description of this youtube video i have my free five day challenge ruthless in there i also have additional ways uh paid ways to work with me in my program the diet killer plan so be sure to check that out because the reality is, is that if you've bounced around from thing to thing, you haven't gotten really clear on exactly what it is you need to do, then you need to, you need to take some other step to get help for yourself. Um, because if you keep doing the same shit over and over again, you're just going to be going in this rat race circle around and around. And I don't want you to do that. It's very frustrating. I was there myself in 2007. So I don't want you to suffer unnecessarily um and go a whole nother year without seeing any sort of result at all so i will go ahead and end this video 
Again, be sure to check out my free challenge and my paid program in the description below this video and share if you feel like this can help somebody else. And I will catch you later. I'm Ashley Korf. I'm out.